September 29. I figured I was gonna do just a little tiny garden tour just to show you roughly what I have still growing, what I had all summer long and show you the mess with all the weeds, all the stuff that's growing in there and at the same time give you a little hint of all I was able to grow. And for those of you who've been following my shit wars um, experience, some of my close friends know how much pound of food I was able to bring in. And just a little hint, I had to buy a third freezer. Uh, if I go this way, so I kind of forgot to harvest my raspberries when they were ready in the midsummer. But as you can see, there are still a lot that are ready to harvest now. For some reason, I have a lot of laid berries coming in uh, this time of year. This apple tree didn't produce anything at all. This one here produced a lot of apples and as you could see in my previous video, they all been caught by this fungus and as you can see, the apples are not really good to eat. In my greenhouse, uh, total tomatoes, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm around 80 pounds of tomatoes harvested and the plants are starting to, to die off slowly but surely. And I've had a few peppers in here and as you can see up there, the plant is not doing so well. I have a few plum trees, two apple trees. The apple trees are too young, they didn't produce anything. The plum trees didn't produce. The cherry trees, I've probably had around 10 cherries this, this whole summer and uh, we're probably able to eat only four because the birds got to them before us. Uh, behind the chair there, I have a gooseberry plant and I have another one here, which gave me about a pound total, maybe a little bit less. I would have to check the numbers. Um, Ascaps, camrys, honey uh, berries, depending on how you call them. Uh, blueberries here. I didn't harvest much of any of those two. The trees are still young. I was able to harvest a few blueberries from that tree right there. And here I have a few grape trees and a few kiwis. The kiwis, I planted one and it died right away. I figured it was gonna let the other one grow, but same thing happened. I have one grape tree growing here. It's not very healthy. I will need to put more compost, but it's hopefully it's gonna grow at some point. Uh, I have a few here. They're overgrown by weeds, but they are still alive. They're starting slowly to die off, but I was able to harvest a few uh, grapes, very tiny grapes like this, which are delicious. A few tomatoes there, tomatoes there. I was able to harvest about six, seven pounds of strawberries in that garden bed alone. I have some parsley, some more strawberries, chamomile, as you can see, I still have a lot that I can harvest. This year, I think is an echinacea flower. It's finally starting to pop up. And I noticed that I have one more strawberry. Oh, I have more than one strawberries. I have one here and look, got more strawberries. We're in the fall actually right now. But I was able to harvest just a few here, not too many. Um, chives comfrey the comfrey plant is growing very very big uh lavender here i just planted it because i bought it for my girlfriend for uh, mother's day and then figured i was going to transplant it here rhubarb is doing great this is compost from goats uh, poop that was in the barn when i bought it this is uh the main mess the main garden I harvested about, uh, I'd like to say 70 pounds of peas there. I uh, had a few squash on the sides. As you can see, there's still one growing there, but it didn't do too well. I was hoping that it would stop the weeds from growing, but it didn't really work. I had about 15 pounds of onions. 
I still have two plants and a few yellow onions that I have to come and pick up. I'm hoping to get the seeds from those. Uh, lettuce, um, I think these are rutabaga or turnips, something like that. Uh, I had a few uh, radishes, they didn't grow at all. All I was able to harvest was a few uh, radish bars. As you can see, I still have a few squash. They're probably not gonna make it uh, way bigger than that. It's getting very, very cold. So I have a few onions here, basil, but this was my tomato aisle and a few peppers. I was able to harvest, uh, I think I have 78 pounds in mind. I harvested a couple more today. I'm probably getting close to the 80 pound. I will have to check it out. But this here was where my tomatoes and peppers were. At first here, I had some onions and I had some carrots all the way to the end there and I have to come and pick them up. This was my plan for today, but the kids don't want to help. And I figured I was going to do two trips since, like I just said, I have some uh, tomatoes hanging on the ground back there somewhere. I have to go bring them back inside and come and try to harvest a few carrots. I have a few squash, uh, zucchinis, and I have a few cucumber plants there. They were overgrown by weeds. Uh, but as you can see, the plants managed to make it through, but the problem is they made it through uh, a little bit too much at the end. So I'm hoping that maybe I'll be able to get one or two more cucumbers, but when I get them, they're just about that big. Uh, here, same thing, zucchinis, uh, a few, but they didn't really do well. Um, if I come here, as you can see, like this, this aisle where my tomatoes were, the carrots are doing awesome, but this year is all overgrown. This year was simply a carrot all the way to the end. They're doing great. And I have a few, I think they're sugar beets, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I have to come and harvest them as well. <clears throat> but as you can see, carrots, 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 all the way to the end of the aisle. Harvested a few, uh, the ones that I could see that were um, showing because you know rodent uh, go right after my carrots as soon as they see them but I don't know if we can see here as you can see I have a lot of nice carrots um, this was supposed to be my beans aisle it didn't produce as much as I was hoping and whenever I had a few uh, this was what happened to them I purchased a few tomato plants, uh, ground cherries. Uh, they're still growing. I'm gonna let them grow and, you know, if they can regrow next year, that, that'd be fine with me. I'm okay with it. And I had a few more beans here. Those are volunteer tomatoes from last year. I have beets there. This, where, uh, this is where my potatoes were. I harvested about 75 pounds of potatoes. And once again, I had a few squash. What I did with my squash is I planted a bunch of squash all around the garden on the edges, hoping that they would stop the weed from growing, which didn't really work. But then again, it could have been worse and there's no way for me to know. So this is the amount of tomatoes that I harvested today and a few rutabagas. If you look down there, this is where my second garden is. This is where my barn was. So this is where Lucas planted his uh, yard long Taiwan bean or something like that. It didn't grow, it didn't produce. It, by the time it was big enough to produce, it died. Miley had a few there, long, some sort of long beans. I have a pumpkin, which is actually pretty weird. It has this here and I don't know, <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, I had a few pumpkins, a few bigger than this one. This one is probably done growing. I'm gonna have to harvest it as well. I had one cucumber plant growing here and it was eaten by mice as soon as it came out. A few uh, sweet potatoes, a few tomatoes here, a few rutabagas here as well. And the ones that I just picked were picked here. Uh, celeries, celery is doing great. Uh, I better pick it up soon, otherwise I'm gonna lose it. I have here was a cucamelon. And 
we harvested a few it didn't produce as much as i was hoping i'm probably not gonna plant any more uh, because well they take a lot of space and it didn't produce much but it was fun to try regardless it was fun to get a taste and uh yeah and here was my corn i was able to harvest a little bit of corn uh maybe for three lunches here is where i had my sunflowers as you can see they're not even all out yet i don't know what that's gonna make but i'm hoping to be able to come and grab a few uh chocolate mint here i don't mind if it spreads it smells so good and uh this is just regular mint, spearmint, and uh, lemon balm there. I had the community garden as well, which helped me produce tons and tons of delicious veggies. Total, I am guessing that I am at about 650 pounds, and that's just from gardening. I was able to forage a few more things uh, you know, I harvested some blueberries in the in the wild. This is considered um, foraging for me. Uh, same with carrots, uh, not carrots, I mean strawberries. <laughs> I'm thinking about my carrots that I have to harvest. Same thing about my strawberries, raspberries. I have some in my garden, but the ones that I harvested in the wilds, I put them in the foraging section. Same for apples. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. My garden is pretty much done. All I got left is a few squash here and there that are still surviving. I'm gonna have to uh, bring them back in. And I have a few uh, beets, sugar beets and beets and carrots. And that's pretty much it. A few celeries I have to harvest as well. And then I should be done for the, for the whole summer. Well, summer is actually done here, uh, September 30th. Summer was done on the 20th or 21st or whatever. I don't know how that works anymore. But there it is. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to share, like, subscribe if it's not already done. And if you have any questions about how many pounds of whatever I was able to harvest, just ask in the comments and I will answer as much as I can. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye.